everybody! So last week I had the opportunity to visit Disney Springs and at Disney Springs there's a newly opened store, Uniqlo! Uniqlo opened last year and is a super popular Japanese brand. They offer a lot of cheap, nice quality clothing. I would probably compare them to Target over here in the United States, except unlike Target, they only sell clothes and nothing else. The first floor of Uniqlo is pretty exciting. Now, most of it is just women's clothing. They have nice casual clothes, they have business casual, and I think there was a small section for men downstairs. But after you pass the escalators, the checkout counters, and the huge, weird, brightly colored sculpture, you get to the point of the store where the real magic happens. Uniqlo has partnered with Disney and they have a clothing line called the Disney Project. The Disney Project is a line by Uniqlo that has beautiful graphic tees, women's blouses, they have raincoats, pajamas, basically anything you would want with Disney on it. When I visited, Beauty and the Beast had only been out for a few weeks, so all of their mannequins were displaying their Beauty and the Beast fashion collection. This collection mainly featured patterns inspired by Belle's outfit and her dresses from the live action film. They're really cute and they're available also on their online store, so definitely check them out. Over in the corner on our first walkthrough of Uniqlo, I definitely missed this spot. It is a section of unisex t-shirts that feature different countries. There were shirts that said Tokyo, shirts that said Canada, I believe there was one for the United Kingdom. It was really cool seeing Mickey merchandise with sayings and, you know, designs on it other than the ones you usually see in the park. And that was probably what made Uniqlo so much fun to shop at. They had so many neat Disney designs, they had obscure characters, and most of all they had great prices. They had great prices for an assortment of sizes. They had everything from extra small, and I believe they went up to double X. I'm not 100% on that, but you could probably check it on their website. But everything about the store was pretty amazing. I ended up purchasing this beautiful Rapunzel shirt and the quality is pretty great. The quality is just as nice as anything I could have found inside the Disney park and really the only difference is the price. This was only $15 and something inside of the park would have been almost doubled that.
So one section of the store downstairs that was not Disney but was worth mentioning was the Japanese omiyagi section. Omiyagi is a Japanese souvenir. So similar to the Epcot store, uh, Mitsukoshi, Uniqlo offers really cute Japanese souvenirs. I know when the store first opened they had yukata, but right now this section mainly consists of t-shirts, fans, and these really cool samurai armor cardboard cutout thingamajigs. I don't know y'all, this was really cool. I would personally never wear it anywhere, but it was cool. So if you guys are visiting Disney World or are just in the Disney Springs area, I would definitely give Uniqlo a quick stop. The Disney Project shirts are amazing and it, it seems like they're changing them out pretty frequently. I know the first night I visited there was a Winnie the Pooh shirt there that I fell in love with and when I went back two days later they weren't selling it anymore. So definitely check out their store, check out their website, just hit them up. I really love Uniqlo and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little walkthrough. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you guys have shopped here before or your thoughts on the store and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!